Hey guys, welcome back to Grandview Kids TV, episode number 20. Now for the last number of weeks, you know that we've been talking about the fruit of the Spirit and talking about how that applies to our lives and how we can see the, that fruit in our lives as Christians. Now, I'm going to read Galatians chapter 5, verses 22 and 23. That's where we find the list of the fruit of the Spirit that Paul says. Starting in verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. See, Paul lists these nine things that he calls the fruit of the Spirit. Now we've talked about seven, seven of them. The two that we have not talked about are joy and gentleness. Today I want to talk to you about joy. Next week we'll talk about gentleness and see what that one means for us. But today, joy. What does joy mean? A lot of people might hear joy and they might think, oh joy, yeah, that's that's just being happy. That's happiness. But joy is more than just happiness. See, you could be sad. You could be grieving if someone, say, someone you know passed away. You can be grieving but still have joy. You're not happy, but you're joyful. See, Paul says in Philippians chapter 4, in verse 4, he says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. See, he says we can have joy and we can rejoice in the Lord always. Even if we're going through a tough time, we can still rejoice in the Lord. See, that's one thing I love about the Bible and Scripture is that this passage, it goes on to talk about how we should not be anxious. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, May her, your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. See, this, you may recognize that passage. That's because it's the same one I used when talking about peace. So that's one thing I love about the Bible. Is that there's so many things. It's jam-packed with information. And no matter how many times you've read the Bible, you can read through it and you can get something else out of it. You can learn something else from it. You can never know everything that's in the Bible. Even ask your parents. Ask them if when they read the Bible, if they learn new things as well. And maybe you can even ask them what they've been learning, what new things they've been learning from passages that they've maybe read tons of times. That's besides the point. Back to joy. See, Paul says here in verse 4, we can rejoice in the Lord always. See, how can we rejoice always if sometimes we're sad? Sometimes people we know pass away. Sometimes we're going through a rough time. How can we rejoice when we're stuck at home and we can't go to church with all our friends like we used to go? How can we rejoice when we're stuck at home with our siblings who might be getting on our nerves. And the key is in the verse. Look at verse 4 again. It says rejoice in the Lord. See, we can rejoice always because we are rejoicing in the Lord. We're not rejoicing because of what we do. We're not rejoicing because we're so good. We're rejoicing because God is good. And because of what Jesus has done for us. See, if someone passes away, we're sad, we, we grieve because they're no longer here with us on earth. But we can be joyful because if they believed in Jesus, if they put their trust in Christ, they're in heaven. We can be joyful that they are now with God. They're no longer suffering. See, we can rejoice because God promises that there is a, a day that is coming where he will wipe away every tear. He will remove pain and suffering. There won't be any more bullying. There won't be any more death 
or sad things. We will be able to be joyful always and happy because we will be with God. That's why we can always rejoice. Because Jesus provided a way for us to be with God, for us to be forgiven by him dying on the cross. We can be forgiven. We can know that no matter what we go through here on earth, we can look forward to when God fixes everything, to when God solves all the problems, he, he wipes away every tear, and there's no more sadness, no more pain, because we will be with God forever. That's a great promise we have from God, and we can rejoice in that promise, and no matter what we're going through, we can always look forward to that and rejoice that that is a promise we can hold on to because we know that God will keep his promises. He always has and always will keep all of his promises. All right, that's all I have for you today. Now remember, we have a camp going on at the end of August. Don't forget to talk to your parents about that. Sign up for that. It's going to be a ton of fun. I look forward to seeing you next week for another episode of Grandview Kids TV.